probably going to take this. And I do like the Lindis on iFlex. So I'm basically putting the game onto uh, the Dark and iFlex here because they've been playing so well together so far. Well, just like that, we're already into game number two of our second quarterfinal match of the day here for the top eight European bracket. Nova is up one to zero. Kebab with an opportunity to tie themselves up. And it looks like they're going to be riding on the potential back of that Joker. Yep, looks like no one's going to invade. They're going to just farm up passively here. And I think I think it's it's okay. I think for Rioma though, they're a little stronger. Zill's a little weak in early game. Rioma's strong in, in in the early game. Zill is weak, so I think this makes a lot of sense to play a little passive here. Omen though is one that we haven't seen play. He is a monster. Uh, solo, 1v1. In team fights, he's not as useful, but he can push a lane down so fast because when he stacks his passive, he, it does true damage. So he's a tower killer. So just watch how Omen plays if he's by himself in, in lane there on top on top or bottom. Another delayed jungle invasion by Nova. They're going to try to get a little bit of extra damage, but Y01 is going to take a lot. He's going to be just down, but again, that's going to be first blood going to light here for Team Kebab. Already getting themselves a little piece of early aggression. And there's that range. You saw that little rocket pop out from yeah. the Joker. That's going to be half to what we're slurched out for because some of those snipes with the damage that that has as he scales up on two or three items is going to do a heck of a lot of damage. Yeah, exactly. So right now, Nova outrange or K-Bop outranges. Wow, look at that. Nice. The punchline hitting the Zephys from that far range and getting the kill. Very nice job there by Team K-Bop. That Joker is really making plays now. And so just like that, it's going to be Kebab securing themselves a couple kills, two into the hands of their carries. Now, we also have to recognize that Kebab has decided to run double punish this match as opposed to the Nova single. Yeah, because they want to lock down jungle because Lindis is um, is really is, is really strong early. So if you don't allow her to farm and get her kind of early game spike, you can slow her down in, in terms of item build, and she won't be able to be much of a big impact. But you can see her passive there, running from the bush, being able to poke. You know, that's, that just makes her so strong when she's attacking from the bush like this. And they're going to set up, hopefully, a lane pressure here to then get map control, to then shove and push for Dragon. So you see the ability, the moon ability that, that shows up. That's Linda's ability. She actually reviews any heroes around her. So she's really good at giving vision for your team when, when you don't have any vision in that brush. And so now we're up at the three minute mark here and it's going to be nova getting a nice little quick kill onto king you do not need to be in that bush buddy you need to go home and they sent him to the grave just like that joker doing his job as well making sure that they get themselves away like trying to get a little bit of extra damage with that poke but it's not going to be enough and with the one for one that's going to stop them from going back the members of nova are going to be the force to go back and it looks like that might be the opportunity for them to go for that abyssal dragon dark is going to good job but another long range snipe that joker wow, yeah. it work. <laughs> like i said if he's played his timing and his accuracy on that has been phenomenal and that gives over the abyssal dragon to k bob and now they're in a 1.5 gold lead look at the level lead they have uh more level fives than you know Roma just turned level 5, so that gives them a huge advantage now against Nova. They need to push his advantage, however. They need to set up an invade, take the bat, you know, continue to push the lead that they have here on the side of Kebab. And so here we go. Kebab has secured themselves a nice early lead, 1.5 thousand gold. Crayon's going to try to get a little bit of damage onto King, but that Ryoma's going to just walk right away. Enough tanky stats. Now three members of Nova are going to be on the bottom side of the map. They've got themselves a minion wave to work with. You've got the damage. And look at that. 25% HP. A wow, great little effort. Look at and this, this Joker. Very well played. It is all across the mark as you are seeing this Joker pick. Something, again, we weren't expecting. We were talking a little bit about this off broadcast about if we were going to see this Joker pop off. And it wasn't too. Uh, it wasn't too much of a priority for both of these teams, but with the yeah, six-band system... Yeah, it was a good draft because, again, uh, Zill is really good against Joker. Again, he has the he has, he has to pick a card, any card ability, you know. He basically removes movement and parrot effect from himself and gains a 30% movement speed, as well as he's immune to physical damage for two long seconds during a fight. That basically makes Lindus useless against him in, for two seconds if they try to focus him. Yep, Light's going to get himself down to about 25% HP, but instead that 25 is going to go to zero as Dark is going to have all the damage in the world to help finish them off. But regardless, it's going to be a three for one in favor against Kebab. And again, we are seeing Kebab stand themselves up 3-0-0 zero, and zero for that Joker as well as 1-0-5. That was a really good play specter by 
by uh, Louis there. I mean, he hit the entire team fully charged up. When you let a Prada hit you fully charged up for two seconds, it unleashes astronomical levels of damage. I mean, you cannot, you need to move out the way and not get hit by that charged up Plague Spectre because if you do, you're asking for your health bars to drop dramatically. And so now, it is Kebab that is taking over this game as they're going to secure themselves the second Abyssal Dragon of the game as they are keeping themselves well and enough in the lead. 3,000 gold is sitting in their favor as yeah, every effort... Pretty good. Oh, is it ultimate gonna come out here? Zill just no, there's the ultimate come out. Look at the damage come out. He just deletes the L'Oreal quickly. Very nice gank there and play by SK Light. Well, if you look at uh, Prada, I want to talk to her about real kick. She the B ability is actually really good. The the poison gas bomb, the poison gas bomb allows them to knock back an opponent. So if they're trying to run away and you put that gas bomb in front of them, it'll knock that enemy towards your team. And, or you can even knock people away if you're getting engaged upon. So pay attention to how Prado's going to be playing here, how they're charging up those Plague Spectres, and how is he using the Poison Gas Bombs to either kite and peel or use it to uh, push an enemy into their team. 3,000 gold advantage in favor of Kebab Nova. The coagulation and efficiency that they had in game number one wasn't quite enough here, in, or isn't rather quite enough in game number two. Now, all right, Sweetie, I got to ask you. We're in a little bit of a low point. I have to ask you. Favorite fruit on a kebab? Oh, fruit. It's got to be, I mean, I think of vegetables. I don't eat, I don't eat a kebab you, think you don't eat a kebab? You know, a pineapple? <laughs> oh, pineapple. Pineapple on a Hawaii, kebab. You so. might not like pineapple pizza, <laughs> but you might like pineapple on the barbie. Yeah, so let's see how they're trying to get Dark Slayer map control here. They're setting up for a play to get the top tower, because if they get top tower, it opens up the Dark Slayer side of the map for them to make a push for Dark Slayer, which which is what Nova actually did to them. So if k is setting up the same play, they're looking pretty good because the top side tower is very, very low in health right now. But so. mid is being pressured, and Ryoma has to rotate to mid to stop this wave so they don't lose a tower and, and give it away. But the bottom tower, Zill could go for that tower in the bottom there. No I, one is on the bottom tower, and I, Joker and Zill just move away. I do like the opportunity, or not opportunity, but the patience that Nova has. They understand that they're in a little bit of a deficit situation, down 4,000 gold at just the 745 mark, but that gives them the opportunity to reset, farm themselves up, and catch up in some of these items. You're going to be able to secure their first game, third Abyssal Dragon. King comes, tries to go it in, but Iflex is going to be able to take that away. Light's going to get himself a little bit of damage. Louis 1v9 is going to try to come help out. Well, that L'Oreal is wow. going to go straight, straight to the death timer. Yeah, L'Oreal has no magic or barely any magic defense. She's probably going to build towards an Aegis, which is attack power defense, but I think she needs to build a, a Medallion of Troy and switch up the, the build here. So let's see if that's going to happen because, again, they have a Zill and a Prada, which both do magic damage. So the Medallion of Troy is a very important item for the side of Nova to build at this moment. So here we are, the members of Team Kebab showing a resurgence in game number two of our second quarterfinal of the match. Remember, everyone, we still have two more quarterfinal matches left today for the European bracket, followed wow, by a little look quick at that break. that damage from Joker. He is pretty fed. I mean, he has, no, he actually has, he has two cleaving swords, which gives a, a, a good amount of attack damage and a rank breaker, which basically has a lot of pierce given to him. And look at him, he uses ultimate to stun the Lindis, but they're not able to catch her off, and she gets away, barely with, uh, without, without any health. Just enough of a situation for Kebab to reset themselves the fight. We are... We do have ourselves, rather, that Dark Slayer on the menu if either one of these teams decide to order it up fresh. 27 and 37 seconds left remaining on those two other neutral monsters as King is going to try to get himself a nice little steal away. It's not going to be enough. He won't secure himself that victory as we are coming up on a very crucial moment. The next set of items potentially being completed for both of these teams and that next set of power spikes is going to be extremely important for this next team fights. Yeah, it is going to be critical here. Who is going to basically make a play, get a kill, and set up themselves for Dark Slayer because the Dark Slayer is a key objective now in this point of the game to be able to get the damage application he gives, 30% damage boost to your entire team to be able to push down tires and, and win team fights. So let's see what Nova's gonna do here. They're gonna back off and wait here. Looks like they're engaged, but Joker is on the omen, and look at the amount of damage that comes out. Zill just comes in and cleans house, and there, Nova Dark has no chance of surviving this fight. Nope, not gonna be anywhere near the mark. We saw the power of the L'Oreal in 
game number one, but it wasn't a factor oh, here. Oh, iFlex may be able to steal this. Let's this see. would be catastrophic for the power of Kebab. He's lurking around the back. He knows he needs to come out and help his team. You can see multiple members of Kebab a little bit row. You're going to have a little bit of poke damage coming out of that Joker, but is it going to be enough? No, oh, wow, it's not. The look at that onslaught play coming iFlex. out of iFlex. Spirit Sentinel's low. Do they want to be able to take it? Nah, it doesn't even matter. He's oh, still in the fight. Man. Nice Kebab's little snipe one there. One here. This is a really tough spot for them to be in. The double kill comes out, and this is where we're starting to see Nova potentially breathe some life back into it. Kebab, they do not have the level of synergy around that Slayer that we saw from Nova in game number one, and as a result, wow. they're going to end up dying. They're going to lose a turret. They're going to lose a life, and that's going to be Nova with a little bit of uh, energy black, uh, yeah, blown back in their sails. Yeah, needs to play more, uh, more cautious here. They got to be careful because they're in the lead. They can they can secure this game, but because of the, of the recent past minute here, some decisions they've made, have now allowed Nova to get right back into this game and beautiful aggressive plays by iFlex here going in as Lindis and getting securing these key kills that are helping his team get right back into it and hopefully even out the lead here that, that K-Bob has. As we're now rounding up at 11 and a half minutes in the game, Kebab found themselves in such an advantageous position at the very beginning of this match, but now it's Nova that is deciding to pull themselves back, and it's all on the back of iFlex. Dark had his carry in game number one, but they are relying on the captain to pull themselves back in game number two. Six, zero, and three for yeah. Nova Esports. Carry, captain, and DPS yeah, here iFlex. is just playing so well, but look at that. They got the, the, the Abyssal Dragon and the Bomb Tower. Just such a great rotation there by the side of Nova here. Playing really well, and now they're gonna get, they're gonna even the advantage here. Look at how fast Linus is taking out this tower. And they comp they just delete the Joker immediately um, with their focus here. Again, Nova is playing so well. They're, they know how to take objectives, they know how to set up their team fights, and it's paying off for them really well. Paying off indeed as another turret. That is going to be two of the three inner turrets taken down. Top lane, the only one left remaining, but it looks like Crane wants to go in. An insane amount of damage on the enemy team for Team Kebab. Dark will go down, however, considering himself back onto the screen. The blue super minions have been deployed, but it's now one member left remaining on the side of Team Kebab. Is it going to be enough? No, it is not, but instead that's still going to be a 2 4 Four, two for four victory in favor. Yeah, of they, Nova. they have to get on this Lindis here. I mean, look at her build. She has the uh, the war boots to give her the attack speed. She has the omni arms, more attack speed, the Cla clave sancti, which gives her crit damage, crit chance, and the, the amount of attack speed that she has and crit. You have to get on the Lindis here. If you don't get on Lindis backline, you allow iFlex to just do damage and punish you from uh, from a safe distance. Then Kbop is gonna really struggle against this composition because if they can't kill the Lindis, he's just gonna carry a lot of these team fights. Carrying in the team fights indeed, as well as the positioning, and the positioning. If you want to think about it, while Nova is coming out ahead in these fights. They actually have themselves a 1,000 gold advantage. They need to have better positioning from Dark. As you can take a look, he's 0, 6, and 6. Not the best of KDAs, and definitely not where, where the members of Nova want him to be. Yeah, for sure. So let's see if Nova, again, again is taking another dragon, and now they're, they're, nice, they're nicely ahead, and they feel really comfortable, really confident now. All they need to do now is get a nice gank or get a Dark Slayer and, and end the game. If, if they take down the, the rest of the Tier 3 towers, it's going to open up so much uh, map control. And then also the Super Minions are going to help really push down the waves and allow them to get to the core sooner. 14 minutes into the game, one high ground turret in the mid taken in favor of Nova Esports. Only three turrets have taken on total by Kebab. Not the effort that they're wanting to pull themselves, despite a very strong showing in the early game. The next set of winions, and this is going to be wow, the in-game, the potential game engage. ending. We've got Nova getting themselves pulled in. Four of the five members are there. Light isn't going to go down quite yet, but that's still going to allow them to take the high ground turret. The blue super minions are now in two of the three lanes. Yeah, and look at that disengage. Nova got engaged upon pretty hard, and they disengage immediately instead of trying to overly chase and that it really helped him and look at this omen with that damage reduction and speed that he gets from death's embrace that's why he's so good solo um, he's able to use that ability to get away and reduce the damage that he's taken and so now nova it is the textbook moba strategy 
that they are reading from at this point in time. Two of the three high ground turrets have been taken. There is one more left available, but first they're going to have to get through that tier two in the top lane. They're going to secure themselves that Spirit Sentinel, get all of the goodies that that provides. 34 seconds left remaining until that next Abyssal Dragon, but instead it looks like they're just going to get themselves some resources and try to push into this Kebab vein. Yeah, Kebab has a chance to come back here. I mean, as long as they are able to secure a fight on the Lindus or let Joker kind of poke and not get poked up by Lindus and go in once the team is low, because Zeo does so much burst damage and Lindus barely has any type of defense. Oh, but here's exactly the last ever happened. by Team Kebab. They want to make something happen, but instead, it's going to be Light going right to the grave. Three members are already down as Nova is completely demolishing the members of Kebab. That's going to be four. One oh, member wow. left That's remaining. Gonna That's going to be Louis 1v9, and it looks like that might be the game. That was a really nice play by uh, Lindis there. Ancestral Glory saved the day and gave her gave her the ability to revive and come back to life. That's a very key item there, because Zeo jumped onto Iflex and just killed him. But he had Ancestral Glory ready, and it revived him right in the nick of time. 16 minutes was all it took for Nova 